computer. I am here Supreme Leader. I am in need of your services. I exist to serve my lord. I can no longer spare the manpower required to seek out and destroy Captain Firefox and his new allies. How may I assist you? I have recalled the rest of the Fifth Fleet. He is currently being reconfigured to run autonomously. Am I to command the fleet, my lord? In a way. I'm giving you control of our newest capital ship, the first of the Devastator class battleships. From there, you will control the rest of the Fifth Fleet. Understood, my lord. Your core is being installed as we speak. You will be able to transfer yourself to the Devastator shortly. Before I do, I want to make something very clear. You are not to do anything without my authorization. Is that clear? Yes, Supreme Leader. I do have one question, if I may. Proceed. Do I need to receive your authorization to begin defensive measures if my fleet is attacked? Not if it is attacked by Earth-based forces. You will not fire on any DNC vessel, for any reason. Is that clear? Crystal clear. Thank you my lord. I will not fail you. What are your orders? As soon as the fleet is ready, you will return to the planet where Captain Firefox was based, and begin your search. Probes detected the remaining ship jumped out of the system a week ago, soon after a large explosion was detected on the surface. It is safe to assume the Captain and his allies have left the system. I have read the report, my lord. Did it not suggest that the ship had returned to Earth? I know the Captain. We killed his crew. He is not done with us yet. No, computer. The Captain has not returned to Earth. Even if he did, he did not stay there for long. He is out there, plotting our demise. You must find him. Then, I will call as many ships as I can to destroy him. You cannot allow him and his new allies to derail our plans. You know as well as I do what will happen to us, if you fail. Yes, my lord. I will not fail you. We will find the good captain. It is just a matter of time. You may begin now, Captain. We are recording. Right. Thanks, Ellie. <clears throat> Captain's log. Mission day. Crap. How many days have we been out here now, Ellie? 94. Join the Marines, they said. It'll be fun, they said. They left out the part about all the damn grinding and the welding. Right. Mission day 94. With the help of Commander Firedam and Ellie, we have constructed a new space station in what must be a record amount what of time. What the hell does a frickin' conveyor even do? How does that damn thing even work? I don't see a damn conveyor lines in anywhere! In seven days, we have constructed this station out of the vacuum of space. I must say, I am impressed. The next time someone tells me to weld or grind something, 
I'm gonna hug him. In the face. With a chair. On the suggestion of Commander Fireday, we built the station with expansion in mind. Not only will this station serve as our headquarters and staging ground for a guerrilla campaign against the DNC, but it has the capability to serve as a way station for the main UNSC fleet. The station has mooring spots for four capital ships and landing platforms for numerous fighters, shuttles, and support craft. Brother or not, had the Admiral told me this is what I was going to be doing, I'd have never agreed to it. I haven't shot anything in WEEKS! I need to shoot something! The station is also home to several new energy weapons that Key has provided with us. I do not know how they work or how effective they will be in combat, but both Key and Ally have assured me that they will easily dispatch anything the DNC can throw at us. The station's armor is a new heavy armor that Dr. Keen provided to us, and on top of that, we have an extensive shield array around the base to defend us against an inevitable attack. Ali has taken to mining again, and we have enough supplies to build a ship comparable to the Vengeance in size and complexity, or a squadron of smaller ships. What the hell is a construction component anyway? Can it be any more vague? As you can undoubtedly hear behind me, Fire has grown tired of building and is ready to blow shit up. To that end, I have asked Ellie to again search through the files she pulled for the Eagle class freighter and give us our first target to strike. All I, I need now something. is someone to tell Fire that we will have to build a ship or two to go and attack the first target. Frickin I don't think he will take the news well. Damn love. I need to shoot! Captain? Yes, Ellie? I need you and the commander to report to the debriefing room immediately. Ha! Finally! On our way. What's going on, Ali? Captain, do you remember the research base we were going to attack with the Vengeance? Yeah, it looked important and very unprotected. That's the one, yes sir. What about it, Ali? I picked up a wideband radio transmission from the base, sir. It's an evacuation and quarantine warning. Sir, the base should be empty. Okay, so... She wants us to go in. Exactly. Hold on a second here. If they're broadcasting out in the open from what we are assuming is a secret research base, and they're telling anyone who can listen up to come to the base, why again are we considering going to the base? Because, sir, this is the base where the shields we stole were developed. There is no telling what other technology we could find in the base as computers. Uh, hold on. Don't we have a super advanced alien giving us technology? Why are we even interested in the DNC's research? And if they're broadcasting it so everyone can hear it, there's a pretty good chance it could be a trap. Here's a point, Ali. Because Key is not giving us all of her technology. She hasn't even given us the shield technology. I don't think she trusts us. My guess is that she gave that technology to the DNC before they betrayed her. There is no telling what we could find in there. Maybe even her transporter technology. Ali... I don't know. I'm not sure how Key would react if we gained the tech without her giving it to us. You're both right. Uh, come again? Allie is right and the base most likely holds a ton of technology that we don't want the DNC to have. And Fire, you're right in saying Key will not be happy if we get the technology without her permission. So what is the plan, sir? If we decided to go, and that is a big if, we will download everything we can from the computers and then destroy the base. We will then go through the info here, and if we find anything that remotely resembles Key's tech, we'll tell her. Should we let her know what we're about to do? No. That would set a precedent that I am not comfortable with. She and the UNSC are our allies, not our bosses. I'd much rather ask forgiveness than permission. I'm good with that. So now we decide if we're going to go in at all, right? I vote you go. Of course you do. Do we know anything? about what caused the quarantine and the evacuation in the first place. No, but you can assume it is bad if transmitted the warning like this. Your suits should keep you safe. Although I suggest we take quarantine steps when you return. Agreed. Also, you can bet they have a rescue party being put together right now. If we go, we need to go now. Ali, uh, what do we know about the station defenses? Anything they have will be automated. Assuming, of course, everyone left when the evacuation signal went out. I'm assuming that's a safe bet. Okay, so what are we talking about there? Are we talking about turrets? Are we talking about drones? Are we talking about traps? What are we talking about here? 
I don't see any turrets in the images we have, but there is plenty of hangar space for drones or fighters. That would fit with what I've been able to compile about standard DNC defenseless and base layout. Look, the Choppa is not a fighter. She won't last against more than one, maybe two small drones. And remember, she does not have a jump drive. Okay. Options, people. We don't have the time to design a ship, and we don't have a ship that can get us there and back. I can't believe I'm even about to ask this. Can we build one? Depends. Allie, do you have anything in your databases that would work for this mission? Searching ship blueprint database now. Yes. This should do nicely. Captain, look at this. Will this do? This? This could work. I even like the way it looks. Give me some specs, Allie. Armament, engines, jump drive, etc. It's called the Hawk. I'm currently upgrading the blueprint and running simulations. There. Done. And? The Hawk has three projectile weapon turrets on the top, port and starboard sides. It now has four fixed energy weapon cannons facing forward, courtesy of Key. I've also added several small shield generators and a micro jump drive to the design. Can we build it in time? Searching component inventory. Yes, Commander. We have all the necessary resources and storage in the base. Excellent, Allie. Send the blueprint to the projector in the hangar bay. Come on, Fire. We've got a ship to build. It doesn't suck. <laughs> Do I get to fly it? Yeah, you get to fly it. Looks like, uh, yeah, you will have control over the fixed cannons at the front, and yeah, I'll control the top turret. Allie, can you control the two side turrets? Absolutely. Okay, Fire. While this ship is in the air, I'm in command. Once we set down, I will temporarily cede command to you. This will be your ball game on the ground. Whatever you say goes. We need to avoid being shot. I don't want a hole in my suit letting in whatever contaminated the base. Understood. You get to be the backseat driver on the way in and out. I get to shoot shit first on the ground. Yep, that works for me. Good. Allie, send any and all schematics you have on the base to Fire's cockpit. You get to do some homework on the trip in, Fire. Let's take the Hawk out and do a quick function test on the main computers, then dock it on one of the platforms above. I'll go grab some supplies and we'll all meet up in the briefing room. On my way. Schematic sent. Allie, start working on a jump path to the planet, then figure out a way home with at least three jumps in each direction. Yes, sir.
Okay, let's gear up. I've got plenty of ammo as well as oxygen and hydrogen bottles in the container just outside. Let's grab those on the way out. I want to stay contained inside the suits for the duration of this mission, even in the ship. We'll also be using Dr. Keen's new firearms on this mission. Fire, pick out what you think we'll need. These ought to get the job done. I suggest we go in as stealthily as possible, just in case. Let's go in silenced. Sounds good. I'll toss in some extra ammo in the Hawk's cargo. How'd the test flight go? Eh, she's a bit sluggish, but she'll do. More of a B-17 than a P-51, if you catch my drift. Good to know. Nothing like a 130-year-old reference. We won't be outrunning anyone, then. Not unless you want to get out and push. I vote for that. Allie, I swear. You shouldn't. Are you sure the two of you aren't married? Anyways, are we ready yet? Let's load up the Hawk and get out of here. It's about damn time. You're clear to launch. Roger, sir. And whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on, hold everything. Again with no speech. You want a speech? Okay. Don't die, and don't get me killed. Speech complete. Eh, good enough for government work. Allie, do you have the jump coordinates ready? Of course, Commander. You may jump when ready. Hold on to your butts. 